hey what's up in this video I want to share how we can add a loader in our application uh, like this so I'm using Vue.js let's search for loader so something like this so whenever any ajax request happens it will show uh, the loader so we will add this on our application currently yeah I've already added it but uh, I'll show you how I did that so adding loader is a great way to enhance the user experience so uh, we'll copy the code from here copy this into our application so we'll create a separate component for that component so name the file loader.view and just paste it here template yeah, we don't need a script for now okay so we have uh, added the template and as you can see here I'm uh, referencing the state variable loader so let's create that so go to store index in your store we'll create a new state called loader so which will be false by default and so that's it uh, we created uh, the component and now we need to include this component in our main app.view so first we need to import that component like so and then I've added that component here so the loader component is here okay so now loader component is created so in order to toggle that what we need to do is we need to uh, alter this true and false so so by some way we need to toggle it false before we send any ajax request and after the completion of ajax request we need to make it true all right so to make it false and true uh, we need mutation so here is a mutation loader and simple thing it will just alter the loader value according to payload so if we pass true it will be true and model will be show up uh, I mean loader will be so displayed and if false it will be closed okay so so the right way to uh, toggle this is uh, if you are using Axios uh, or another library there might be something similar to this interceptor so in Axios there are uh, these interceptor uh, by using these we can uh, intercept our request so for example while uh, doing request while doing request if there is everything goes well this block of code will be executed if error this will be executed similarly after we get a response from our server uh, we inter we can intercept that also so this is the response interceptor and this is the request inter interceptor so uh, we'll initiate we'll open the loader in our request interceptor and we'll close that on our response interceptor that way you don't need to uh, put loader on every ajax request okay so you define it once and it will be applied everywhere okay so we can copy these into our into our app.view so app.view is the root component so in created block we can paste that okay so I've already pasted that so this is the request interceptor and while before making request we are making loader true so that loader will show up so store commit loader so remember this commit we are calling this mutation and passing value true okay so we are um, displaying loader on request and after successful response we are closing the loader let's see this in action login loader displayed and after loading yeah also if you refresh the page loader will show up and disappears okay so i'll see you in the next video bye